Below this time, we will create a running effect using the Niagara system. First, create a material. Set the blend mode to translucent to create a material for a particle system. Create a particle color node and a dynamic parameter node to adjust the brightness of the particles. Next, create a multiply node, multiplying the particle color node with the dynamic parameter node and connecting it to the emissive color. Also, connect the alpha value in the particle color to opacity so that the transparency of the particles can also be set in the Niagara system. Next, create a Niagara system with fountain template. Set the emitter state to system and set the spawn rate to around 300 so that particles are created and destroyed according to the lifetime set by the module. Next, in shape location, set it to a hexagon shape. And set the distribution to direct and rotate the particles in a hexagon shape to create a scattering pattern. By using multiply float in new position, increase the rotation speed. Next, set the add velocity to linear. Then use the range random vector to set the particles to go upwards only. Particles are currently falling down under the influence of gravity. Remove gravity force to eliminate gravity. Next, create a scale sprite size and make the sprite size change by lifetime. Next, set scale color to linear color and use random range linear colored for it so that the particle color is applied randomly from the colors in the range. Change the particle to the material in the sprite renderer to make the particles into square shapes. Next, go to the initialize particle and set the sprite size mode to random non-uniform to make the particles look like long sticks. Particles are not aligned in direction. Set the alignment of the sprite renderer to velocity aligned to align the particles in the direction our character moves. Next, create a dynamic parameter to increase the overall brightness of the particles. Finally, check local space and properties to fix the particles' spawn position. Next, Find the character blueprint and open it. Press Add Component to create the Niagara system. Set up the Niagara created earlier and set it as a child of the follow camera so that the Niagara system is attached to the camera. And set the location and size of the Niagara system as shown in the video. Next, go into the event graph, create a keyboard events node, and set a key to use the sprint function. After importing the character movement component, create two set max walk speed nodes. One sets the sprint speed, and the other sets 500, which is the original speed and connect it to the keyboard events node as shown in the video. Next, import the Niagara component and create a deactivate node and an activate node to manually turn the Niagara system off and on. And connect the nodes so that the Niagara system turns on when the character is running and turns off when the character is walking, as shown in the video. Lastly, create a begin play node and connect it to the deactivate node so that the Niagara system will be turned off when you play for the first time.